Welcome back to Mountain Line News. I'm your lead anchor, Cameron Villader. And I'm Brody Fugit. We're back for another great week at Pobble. Our volleyball team finished out our regular season with a win at Middlesbrough on Thursday. Here's some highlights. The legendary John North did his habitat. Josh Beverly as he sits down with Ken Burnett to learn about some new safety improvements we have at Bible. Welcome to the table. I'm your host, Joshua Beverly. I have with me today Ken Burnett. What is it that you do with the school, Ken? I'm the student safety coordinator here at Pineville. Uh, it's funded through the Stop V grant. Uh, so uh, anything related to safety, then I've got my hands on it. All right. And what is it that we have around the school? For safety well of course we've got our camera systems uh, and we have uh, seven AEDs or automated external defibrillators uh, all teachers now classrooms have a first aid kit uh, and if you've been in the uh, offices at the elementary or the high school you'll see that we have uh, uh, safety windows now so actually no one has to enter the building uh, so uh, they can take care of business at the window and uh, and it's a continuously improving thing. Uh, so, that's all right. What and got. Uh, can you tell me a little about a little bit about these defibrillators? Okay, these are located throughout the school. Uh, like I said, we have seven. Uh, one in each gym. Uh, one here. The nurses' station has one. Uh, we have one in the middle school, and in the high school we have. One. And also the uh, principal's office has one that goes stays in a go bag for athletic teams to take with them. Uh, but what it is, it's a uh, automated external defibrillator. Uh, it's for, for use when somebody's having a cardiac arrest. Uh, they're easy to train on and all staff were trained on these prior to the school year starting. Uh, that was about the same time we had our active shooters training with the uh, Kentucky State Police. Uh, but uh, these are simple to use. Uh, they tell you exactly what to do and when to do it. Uh, so uh, these are good not only for schools but churches. Uh, any civic organization, I mean, uh, they're invaluable. Um, hopefully we never use one, uh, but if we need it, we have them. Mm -hmm. It's good that we have them here. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the Green Dot program? Okay, that's a program funded through the uh, Stop V grant. Um, uh, all students here are going to be trained on that. Uh, it's an intervention program uh, to stop bullying, uh, sexual violence, and things like that. Uh, it's really good. We've started uh, with the junior class already, me and Mr. North and uh, Mr. Zachary, um, we've got the junior class trained, and uh, next I think we have seniors. Uh, but it's 
it's more about uh, how to be a bystander in situations and we've all been in situations that we can think about that we should have done something but maybe we did it uh, but that's what Green Dot's for is to help us in those situations where we can react and act to help someone else. Yeah, it, it's sad because nowadays most people would rather pull out their phone than do anything. And exactly they just video right, it. exactly so right. It, that's a big part of it is everybody wants the likes, but uh, this will give them some tools maybe they can use to, to intervene, uh, whether through direct contact or, or uh, to uh, uh, distract somebody uh, or delegate authority. So uh, it's a good tool. Um, hopefully we use it and use it well. All right, well, this program sounds like it's going to be great for the kids' future. It'll teach them how to actually help people out and not just be a bystander. Absolutely. This has been The Table, and I'm your host, Joshua Beverly. Thank you for stopping in, and I'll see you next week. Miss Teresa Rostin teamed up with the Pine Mountain State Park to bring a cool program about wildlife conservation to our area. Check it out. That's, uh... We have a new mountain lion in the house, literally. Leo, the attendance lion, made his debut in the elementary school this week. Check out the story. Now, if you've not noticed, I've got a little friend on my hip today. It's a lion! No, it's a lion! 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 The whole elementary. Every day next week, Leo, the Lion King of Attendance, will be in somebody's classroom. Here's how you earn him by having the most students, by having the best attendance. He will move from classroom to classroom next week. Elementary students, be sure to be here every single day, so hopefully you can see Leo the Lion in your classroom. What's cooking with B. Bargo is back. Let's see what's on the menu. Welcome back to What's Cooking with B. Bargo. On Monday, we got Little Caesars salad, burgers, and pizza. And then on Tuesday, we got breakfast and chicken sandwich. On Wednesday, we got pork chops and burger and pizza. And Thursday, we got some sloppy joes and a chicken sandwich and pizza again. Friday is a chicken sandwich again and a burger again and pizza even again. And your favorite choice of milk. The end. Have a nice day. Now time for everyone's favorite segment, Jane North on the Street. What is your favorite scary movie? Scream 6. Thank you. What's your favorite scary movie? Jason. Tapes. <laughs> Scream. Scream. What's your favorite scary movie? The Conjuring. Scary Movie 5. <laughs> scary Movie 2. Thank you. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, probably Halloween, honestly. Scary Movie. You'd be Halloween. What are you asking me, George? What's your favorite scary movie? You can't put me up there on the phone. What's your favorite scary movie? My life. <laughs> the Conjuring. I don't have one. <laughs> Thanks. The Pope's Exorcist on Netflix. The Barbie movie. A scary movie. Uh, The Shining. Friday the 13th. Conjuring. Uh. Pinhead. The Conjuring. What is your favorite scary movie? Halloween. 
by Rob Zombie. What is your your hair looks great. What is your favorite scary movie? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Scream! It's not even scary. Um. It. <laughs> no, that's the worst movie ever. Wait, can you uh, scream? Michael Myers, Jason. Vote for Maya for president. Woo! I'm running for president. Put that in there. We have a few announcements for this week. It's championship week. The volleyball team competes in the first round of the district tournament at Link Camp Monday at 6 p.m. The championship game will be the following day at 6 p.m. Be sure to come out and support our volleyball team. The middle school girls basketball team will also be playing in their conference championship at Harlan on Tuesday against Barberville. Senior lunches for this Friday will be a baked potato, chili, a drink, and a dessert. See one of the seniors if you'd like to purchase lunch. Our football team will be heading to Lane Camp for another district game on Friday night. The student section theme is Halloween. Seniors will be taking the ACT on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Make sure you're here on time to take the test. Also seniors, new scholarships have been posted on Google Classroom. Make sure you keep up to date with them. We are looking to expand our Mountain Line Media Network team. We are looking for students to do commentary, camera, production, and set up for basketball games. You can reach out to Mr. and Mrs. North if you want to be part of the Mountain Lion Media Network and the best news crew around. We will see you next week.